So why should you take aerospace engineering? Well, let me start with two Latin words. Schiere, from which we have the word science, which means to know. And ingenerare, which means to create, also from Latin. So, have you been in a science class and working through something, or maybe a mathematics class, and said, well, how am I going to apply this? How is this going to extend to something beyond what my word problems are in my science or my math class? Or have you actually been fooling around, playing with a toy or playing with some Legos or playing something and wondered, why did it exactly do that? Well, engineering is about putting those two pieces together, combining what you know with how you create so that when you're done, you have something that you know about and you've created at the same time. So what I want to teach in my classes, what I want you to do is I want you to experience that moment when something you've created does exactly what you think it's supposed to do. Now it's pretty easy with some things, but as you get more complex, as you design something like an airplane or a rocket ship, it becomes harder to know everything about it and created exactly the way you want it. So, we've got a few thousand years of human experience to catch up on in order to understand everything that humans know about aircraft and about flying. However, that's what my class is aiming to do, is to get started on those. We'll talk a little bit about history. We'll talk about thinking in three dimensions. We'll talk about air. You need to know about air in order to fly in it. And we'll talk about motion, how you move. We'll talk about shapes and ultimately will know how things fly. They say that it takes 10,000 hours to truly become an expert at something. Let's start with your first 200. Come take my class.